It's been over two years since I teased the program that would automatically upload the designs you made to products in Printify without you having to do anything. But now here we are two years later and after several redesigns and trying to get developers to turn my vision into reality, plus an honestly disgusting amount of money, it's far overdue. But today I'm super happy to announce that the Printify product uploader version 2.0 is finally out. If you've been looking for a solution to be able to bulk upload all of your print on demand designs, no matter what product you sell, today I'm going over how to set it up with your Printify account, what it can do and all of its features. I had a similar version of this application, which was absolutely instrumental in growing my own multi-million dollar print on demand business because it allowed me to automate the most time consuming part of the business. So today I get to share it with you. The uploader is inside my app called Prelist, which allows you to use the uploader as well as a bunch of other pretty cool things, which we can save for another video. So when you're creating your account, it will prompt you to connect Prelist to your Printify account. So you can just hit connect and then it'll bring you over to Printify and you can just click allow. And when you do that, everything will automatically be imported and you can start uploading. So the very first thing to do is to select the Printify shop that you wanna upload to. So you can see we've got our three shops here, which are the same three shops that we have in our test account. All of them show up in Prelist and we can select one. And then next we just have to create a template. Now all a template is, is a reference product from your Printify account that Prelist uses to copy all the details from. So I'll just click this little Little button to add a template. This brings up a bunch of products and then you can just select a product that you want to use as a template. It'll import it and automatically select it for you. You'll see all of the variations from that template have been imported into Prelist and we're ready to start uploading. So now anytime I create new products using this template, it will copy all of the variations as well as the pricing details and things like description and shipping profile into the new products that we upload. And now I'm ready to start uploading my designs. So I've got a bunch of designs right here that we made in a previous video. So I'll just click and select them all and just drag them in and you can watch them upload. And after you give it a second to load in, you can see all of them get loaded in. Then we can just press upload and start creating products. We give it just a second to actually upload. And once it's done over in Printify, if I just give it a quick refresh, you can see all of those designs that we just created and uploaded have been applied to our products and they're ready to publish for sale in our shop. This already saves a ton of time, but there's a lot of new features that we added into Prelist to take it a lot further. So let's say we use a dark version of our design for our main designs. Well, I can press the add variant button and then I can come in and select all of the dark color t-shirts. Then I can upload a lighter version of the design for these darker shirts. So basically now we have a dark version of our design for the light color products and a lighter design for the dark products. But we can take this a step further because maybe we have a design that we want to show up on the back of all of these shirts as well. So I can press add a variant and then this time I can change the print area for this variation. So for example, we can set it to the back of the shirt. And here I can upload all of the designs that I wanna show up on the back of these shirts. You could really use whatever you want, but for this example, I'm just gonna do a red version of the design. And then once again, we can have multiple designs for this specific print area. So I can add another variant. And then let's say I want to remove all these darker colors from this back print and then I wanna come in and add them back in here. I'll use these green designs for this final example, but what you can see here is we have a dark and a light design on the front of our products, and then we have a red and a green design on the back of our products, and they're all organized by variation. So from here, all I have to do is press upload, start creating products, again, give it just a second to load. And once again, if we come back into Printify and just give it a quick refresh, our uploads get sent through to Printify. And if I open one of these up, you can see that we have the dark design on the light color shirt and we get a light design on the dark color shirt. But we also added a different color design for the back of the product, again, on the light and the dark color shirt. Now, this is just an example of this design honestly looks terrible, but you could do something like a logo. You could add designs to the sleeves of your product or the neck label and pretty much makes bulk uploading in any situation possible. And by the way, if you want to learn how to make a lot of designs really quickly, which is exactly what top selling Etsy shops do, then I'll leave some links to designing tutorials on how to do it manually and using AI exactly like I do it in the description. But this new version of Prelist also makes it a lot easier to do things like size and position your designs. 
Now, obviously it makes bulk uploading a lot easier if you're pre-sizing your designs to the product you're selling. And you can do this by making your Canva document or your Figma frame or group the same size as your product's print area. But we've also added in controls to make sizing your designs a lot easier. So all of these alignment toggles work exactly how you'd expect. They work the exact same way as they do in Printify, but we've also added a fill and a fit option. Fit will take the design and fit it to the print area. If it's wider than your product's print area, it'll just hit the sides first. And if it's taller than the print area, it'll hit the top and bottom. The fill mode will take your design and scale it all the way up until it completely fills the print area. So be careful with this one unless your images are very high resolution. But a super popular combination is fit, centered and aligned to the top of a product. Now I've got a bunch of different sticker designs here kind of themed around maybe Halloween and ghosts and coffee. And if you ask me, I think they came out pretty good. And when I go ahead and I upload them into Prelist, by default, all of the product names are gonna be based on the file names that we uploaded. But the good thing is we have a couple of tools that we can use to change this and get better titles. For example, in the global settings, if I type in something in the title field, you can see that it's automatically applied to all of the products in that uploading batch. This is super useful if you're batching out your products. Now the keywords field is super cool in my opinion. So what it allows us to do is paste in a string of keywords separated by commas. So I just pulled up this other coffee related sticker. And if I just copy all of the tags off of listing view, I could come in and paste it in, in the keywords section. Now what this does is it scrambles and applies all these keywords to our new product listings making these really nice randomized titles perfect for testing SEO. It'll also be applied after the global title if you have one, and you can add as many keywords as you want to make it super random. And on top of that, it'll always ensure that none of your titles ever go over the 140 character limit that Etsy has in place. And then we can also use this to improve tags if you like. So we can add a bunch of tags to all of our products at once, which can also help improve SEO. And this just saves you time later on. You can come down into this product preview section and make sure that everything in the title and tags and images looks great. And then once again, we just hit upload and start creating products. A few seconds later, when everything shows up in Printify, you can come in and just double check that your product was created correctly. You can look at the title, you can see all the tags are there and all the details from your product's template, like the description, personalization, shipping profile, and price are already gonna be copied over into these new products. Now, a couple of limitations that you should know about, if you have any variant visibility settings, they won't get copied over into your new products. And if you have a specific mockup selected as the main mockup in your listing, that also won't get copied over into your new products. Now, those are due to Printify's limitations. We've already reached out asking for those features to be enabled, but it just hasn't happened yet. In the future, we'd also like to be able to upload mockup images directly into your Printify listings. So maybe if we ask hard enough, they'll eventually enable it, even if it's just for pre-list. Now, if you're wondering, we built it for Printify because it's the absolute best print-on-demand company. They have unmatched prices, they're partnering with Printful, they have the best fulfillment network, and not to mention, I've been using them exclusively for over four years, so I wouldn't have invested so much into building this uploader if they weren't the absolute best platform to choose. They also have great customer support, and anyone who signs up with my link and then uses the coupon code ALEC can try out Printify Premium for two months completely for free, which is normally worth about $60. If you're interested in using this because you're a supporter of the channel and you've watched this entire video, I'm gonna leave a link in the description with the absolute best offer that we have available for pre-list so that you don't have to have any more subscriptions or recurring costs. And not only would you get access to the Printify uploader, but also some other things like the Etsy listing bulk editor, which allows you to change things in your Etsy listings in bulk. I'll leave a link below if you wanna check it out. Really hope that you find it useful. We've put a ton of work and effort and a couple of years into making this happen, which it probably shouldn't have taken that long to be honest. But yeah, saves me a ton of time. I hope we can do the same for you. And as always, I don't have a consistent sign out.